main topic. Well, it is Fourth of July week. Hard to believe how this yeah. passed by so quickly, but yes, it is Fourth of July week, and so we are trying to think about some possible ways to incorporate kind of a patriotic theme to this week's episode. And we haven't talked a lot of Marvel recently, mm -hmm. so. Michelle came up with a great idea of how about combining those two things and doing kind of a 4th of July celebration, Marvel heroes and patriots. And we're going to do that in an interesting way, right, Michelle? Yeah, yeah, because we want it to be, you know, entertaining and fun. So we thought, how can we do this other than just kind of doing a narrative of characters? Yes. So we are going to kind of do a narrative of characters, but in a different way. So what Michelle has done, you know, she has the best <laughs> topics. Uh, she has come up with some questions that we've kind of put into, it looks like our little D23 Expo yeah. popcorn bucket there. <laughs> yes. Uh, that we are going to uh, go ahead and fish out of that bucket one at a time. And on each of those slips of paper, there are two questions. And one of us, Whoever picks it out is going to get to choose whether they want to, which one they want to answer and which one they want the other one of us to answer. So this is going to be interesting. We can kind of mess with the other person, come up with the one that we think is best or however we want to approach it. Um, we're going to do this for, we probably won't get to all these questions. We're going to get to as many as possible within a fairly amount of time. Book. Yeah. And we've also decided that we're not going to use Captain America for every single answer, because we figured that would be very easy for us to do because he is Captain America. You're talking about patriots, veterans, etc. Well, he kind of fits all of that yeah. roles. So we can only use Captain America one what? time. So we have to be very strategic <laughs> about where we're going to use Steve Rogers, Captain America. Of course, there's also Sam Wilson, Captain America right. as well. So um, should we limit Sam's use as well, since he's also a Captain America? Uh, possibly. Okay. Yeah. yeah. We'll see how that goes. I mean, so each paper, like Tom said, has two questions, but it's all based on themes related to 4th of July. So as Tom already mentioned, patriots, veterans, but even some fun topics like barbecue and fireworks. So uh, this should be, like I said, hopefully entertaining. Hopefully entertaining. And by the way, this episode is going to be at least our, well, I guess it's still June technically. So we may have to do another one for July. We'll, we'll see how that plays out. But uh, this one is going on YouTube. So we kind of play, it plays out as fishing around and getting the questions. So uh, another reason to subscribe to YouTube, if you'll know whenever we have a new episode, especially when we have one of these video episodes like this. So let's go ahead and get this thing started. Michelle, ladies first. Oh, you go ahead and pick really? out the first question and decide if you're going, which one you're going to answer when you get it. Read off both questions and then pick yours and then okay. send the other one my way. All right. <clears throat> oh, funny. This first one is patriotism. Okay. So, yes. Go, right off the so bat. the two questions are, which Marvel character do you think best embodies the spirit of patriotism and why? And if you had to choose a Marvel character to deliver a patriotic speech on the 4th of July, who would it be? And what key message do they think you would share or that they would share? Um, hmm. I think I will take the second one. Okay. So you're going with the speech. Who the will speech. make the most patriotic speech? I think I would like to have... Um, Black Panther. Mm. I think he could come across very patriotic and really um, I'd like I think it'd be good if he delivered a message that our country has a lot in common. And I think he could help us rally being together, more unified, more joyous and that that in, that we all are appreciative of being Americans and our independence. And let's play together. Okay. Right, very good. Even though he's not American, he is Wakandan. Right. Uh, still, uh, doesn't mean you can't be patriotic to your own country or just patriotic to the world in general. Exactly. Love that. I think that uh, Black Panther um, would have an exceptional speech uh, of unification. And I think that would be a very good thing. I, I, Thank I like you. That. That's Thank a good you. choice. Okay. Very so you choice. have the other one, which is which character 
best embodies the spirit of it, patriotism and why? Well, I guess I'm going to have to go ahead and use my Steve Rogers Ooh, early on the bat wow. because um, I just I when they're when you're talking about the symbol uh, the symbolism of embodying patriotism, um, it's 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 Captain America, it, Captain America, Steve Rogers, Captain America. Um, was willing to go through over and over again, yet being turned down to help fight for his country mm -hmm. as he was seeing uh, all the others around him of his age group being sent off to Europe and to Asia to fight um, in this war. And he just, that's all he wanted to do. He kept, you know, falsifying documents, trying over and right. over again uh, until he was finally accepted. Then not even blinking at the fact that, you know, if taking this, this, super serum very you know much questionable on what this would do to him and how that would work right willing to do it and then even stepping up when they wouldn't send him over to fight and do what he could for his country to put on those uso shows right then actually going there and putting himself on the line first singularly to save his 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 cohorts um, his other fellow soldiers and then going through and then, you know, we're not even talking about once he actually joins the Avengers and everything and everything right. he did there. I mean, he is the symbol of a veteran of a patriot. Um, he is the perfect person for this. Exactly. So I think you did well. Thanks. I think that's why I gave you that one. Cause I, I wanted to hold back, you know, yeah. and didn't like to use uh, Steve Rogers one right player, but, yeah. You know, check him <laughs> off. I'm done. Uh -huh. Everything else is going to be interesting from yeah. here. Yeah. So, All right. Let's go ahead and get to my first question here. Again, we are drawing these completely out of a little bucket here. We don't know what they're <laughs> going to be until we see them. So this one is going to be on the topic of resilience. Mm. So here are the questions. First one is which Marvel character story of resilience and overcoming adversity inspires you the most and mm -hmm. why? And the second one is how do Marvel characters demonstrate resilience in the face of challenges and which outs, which one stands out as a beacon of hope? So I'm going to go with the second one Ooh, for this one. Okay. Which Marvel, how do Marvel characters demonstrate resilience in the face of challenges and which one stands out as a beacon of hope? Okay. So I think that they just continuously... I mean, they're the Avengers, they're they're trying to make things good all the time. They're always avenging people that fall. They, you know, they're they're showing resilience. We've seen them have to go up against significantly difficult, sometimes what seemingly impossible circumstances, mm -hmm. and finding the way to get through. That's resilience. The other, I mean, the Guardians of the Galaxy. I mean, they're guarding the galaxy. Right. You could say sometimes it's a little shaky methods that they go through to do it. <laughs> But they're, you know, they're always having these difficulties and finding a way to bounce back and create things and make things happen to guard the galaxy, to avenge, right. uh, you know, to do what is necessary to make the world a safer place. And that's what I think Marvel characters do so much of. Good as job. far as one that stands out as a beacon of hope, I'm going to go with with Banner, with Hulk. Mm. I mean, I think that you look through, you know, obviously he was looking to do certain things. And he ends up getting uh, this gamma radiation that turns him into this creature. And he has to fight through that for right. so many years, the battle of being basically an outcast, knowing that if he turns into this creature, then bad things are going to happen. But gradually, he's able to work through it to almost control it in a way and figure out a way for he, for Banner and Hulk to kind of work together and become like, you know, smart Hulk and right. everything. And he, they able to put that all together and be who he becomes, which is the best parts of both aspects of his, his personality, essentially. Right. And, yeah. And kind of embracing yes. himself as he is. Yeah. So I think that's a beacon of hope that we can work through sure. all our adversities, all our difficulties, some of the, what we might consider not the best parts of us and put them together to become a better us. And right. I think that's what he did. That's why he's a beacon of hope to me. I agree. That's a good one. So, okay. So here's your question. Which Marvel character story of resilience and overcoming adversity inspires you the most and why, Michelle? I would have to say Rocket. Mm. I think Rocket has had so many, I mean, physical adversities placed on him when, you know, he was being remodified and everything and that he, you know, and, and yet he's very intelligent. And so 
being able to overcome the pain, the pain of seeing what was happening to others and come out to be a hero, somebody who is actually trying to help save others, I think um, just shows his resilience in that face of adversity. Nice. I like that. That's an interesting choice. I like that choice. I love you. Rocket. So yeah. I'm yeah. all on board with that. Go all ahead. Right. All right. Michelle's turn to draw out of the bucket here. What's the next question we're going to go through? All right. The next question. Ooh, it's barbecue. Barbecue. Right. Okay. Barbecue. So here are the questions. If the Marvel heroes had a barbecue cook-off, mm -hmm. which character would be the grill master and who would most likely burn everything. That's question one. Okay. Question two is which Marvel character would you trust to make the best barbecue sauce and which one would bring the weirdest, but simply delicious dish to the cookout? Okay. Yeah. Which one are you picking? Uh, I think I will go with the first one. Okay. The cook off and who would be the grill master. All right. All right. Uh, and who would burn everything? I think that I would say that Vision would be the grill master. I think he's, you know, would have all this data in him of how to make the perfect grill, how to address the fire and, you know, what what fuel source to use, et cetera. So I think he would be the best for that. And and I think Iron Man would just burn everything. I just think he's always, you know. You're distracted. Yeah, and trying to be bigger than necessary all the time. And, you know, so it's like, oh, more fire. And really, is more fire always better? No, I don't think so. <laughs> right. I like it. Yeah. So your question would be which Marvel character would you trust to make the best barbecue sauce and which would be bring the weirdest but surprisingly delicious dish to the cookout? Hmm. Okay, so I have lots of choices here <laughs> that I can think about. Um, I am going to go with who would make the most interesting barbecue sauce. I am going to go with Black Panther. I think mm -hmm. that he would come up with some sort of interesting kind of African Wakanda spices. Yeah, yeah that and, makes sense. Uh, it would be just kind of unique and interesting, and it would be something quite different than what you've experienced before. It's not your traditional right. Texas or Carolina or anything like that barbecue uh, sauce. Uh, I think it would be a fascinating blend and and bring in all this this unique, like I said, African style to it. And I right. think it, it would be the hit. Uh, of the barbecue part, true, for true. sure, the 4th of July barbecue. So that's where I'm going with that. And who would bring the most interesting but surprisingly tasty Delicious. dish? Mm -hmm. um, I think I am going to go with Drax. Mm. Because I think the Drax would be something he'd bring to it. And it'd just be <laughs> crazy. You'd be like, what are you talking about, Drax? Why did you bring this right. to the party? Yeah. You know, but it would be amazing because Drax loves amazing stuff. Sure. And I think that it would end up being, you'd have to like, I don't know if I'm going to try it, but okay. <laughs> and then when you sampled it, it was really, really good. Kind of like Drax himself. You're like, sure. you see Drax, you're like, I don't I want to hang out with this guy for too long, but then you're around him for so long right. and he's got so many interesting aspects to his personality that you kind of embrace him that True. much more. And I feel like that's what it would be with whatever dish, whatever wild dish right. you would bring to the barbecue. Yeah, <laughs> I agree. And I think that's a good answer for sure. All Ooh, right. your turn. I see you're already diving for a question and here. This is the bucket. Let's go ahead and go with the subject, which is leadership. Ooh, okay. Mm. So the questions for this one are, which Marvel character do you think exemplifies the best leadership qualities and what lessons can we learn from them? Or the second question is, if you had to choose a Marvel character to lead a team on a critical mission, who would it be and why? So I am going to go with I think I will go with the first one in this one. So which Marvel character do you think exemplifies the best leadership qualities and what lessons can we learn from them? So, And you can't use Captain America. <laughs> that's true. Which is, again, uh, he could fit for virtually I know. every one of these. <laughs> um, I am going to go on that one with um, Nick Fury. 
Wow. I think Nick Fury obviously knows what it takes to be a leader. He knows when to lay off the gas mm -hmm. and he knows when to push down hard on it. Mm -hmm. He knows he's had to lead teams throughout his life. He understands it. I think he, you know, he knows how to kind of, like I said, you know, a, a good captain, a good team leader, a good manager kind of knows what each individual personality is and he knows what he needs to do to some sure. people you need to baby a little bit you need mm -hmm. to coddle them you know you're you need to some people you need to actually you know absolutely just you know charm the pants off of them you know and tell them how great they are right others you need to like i said lean on them a little bit hit them hard bring them down break them down and get them fired up i feel like nick fury has that it's in him true. completely and you see it throughout the series obviously he has significant flaws there's no question yeah. about it but i think when it comes down to it and when it's really important nick fury is the leader that you really need to to drive a team to whatever goal it is you're trying yeah. to reach That's that's true. That's true. You know, although sometimes like his, like you're saying, some of he's flawed. So some of his methodologies might be questionable, but yeah, definitely has demonstrated that. Yeah. Okay. So that would be my choice. So for you, Michelle, if you had to choose a Marvel character to lead a team on a critical mission, who would it be and why? I think I'll go with um, Shuri. Mm. I think even though she's young, you know, doesn't have a lot of experience as as a leader, I think she has a good analytical mind. I think she is patient to prepare and be thoughtful about what are all the possibilities of things. I mean, obviously you can't think of everything that you'd, in, you know, in facing a, a, an omission or a challenge, but I think she definitely would plan out as much as she could. She has she's brilliant. So she has so much uh, knowledge of technology and what's available and pushing the boundaries there. I think she would be really good. I think she'd have some, like I said, being inexperienced as leader would have some challenges, but definitely um, be a good, good uh, person to still lead a, a mission. She's not afraid to speak her mind. That's true, for sure. True. Um, and she has the, the new Black Panther. Right, you know, right. Spoiler alert for Wakanda forever. If you haven't seen that, <laughs> it's been out for a couple of years. Um, she is the new Black Panther. And, uh, you know, she has led a team. One, she definitely led a team mm -hmm. in Wakanda forever, but she's also had to lead, even before she became the Black Panther, her team of scientists kind of there in right. Wakanda, you know. So, um, yeah. Yeah, no, it's a good choice, an interesting choice, mm -hmm. a good choice. So, Liz, it's my turn again. Your turn again, Michelle. Which one are you drawing this time? What questions coming out? What more? Sorry, I have a tickle in my throat. Oh, it's very it's annoying. Good. It's all good. Okay, this one is on it's the overcoming adversity. Honey. <laughs> That's right. Here, let me drink some water. <laughs> <laughs> all right, this topic is on celebrate, which we all do for Fourth of July, mm -hmm. right? And here are the two questions. If the Marvel heroes were to throw a 4th of July celebration, which character do you think would be the best at organizing it and why? And the second one is, which Marvel character would be the life of the party at the 4th of July celebration and what unique elements would they bring to the festivities? Okay, so which one are you taking there? Let's see. I know. Um, I think I will take the second one. Okay. So what's that? What's so that question again? That one is um which Marvel character would be the life of the party at the Fourth of July celebration and what unique elements would they bring to the festivities? Um, I think Yondu would be <laughs> hilarious at a party. It'd be something on right. <laughs> You know, uh, in terms of elements, I mean, I think he's just, you know, one, his personality, um, his circle of friends is very unique that he would obviously have around there. I think he would probably come up with a lot of games. Um, he may win at all of them. I don't know. <laughs> Surprisingly, I don't know. But I no. yeah, but I just think um you know, he does have a good laugh. He does have a good humorous side. And I think he could be the life of, of the party. Good call. Well, thanks. Good call. What, so my question is again. Uh, who? Let's see. Which character do you think would be the best at organizing it and why? Hmm. 
So organizing the party, I believe that that's going to be, because I just feel like this, this person, this character would like be the one who would organize the kind of party that I'd want to be at. And that's okay. Peter Quill, Star Lord. <laughs> I mean, come on, you know, he's going to have, he's going to pull out all the eighties, nineties, you know, you know, stuff, all the memorabilia, and that's going to call out to me. Sure. Nostalgia of that, but he's going to have a great soundtrack playing for the whole that's thing. True. Uh, he's just going to be a lot of fun and he's going to have all the great food. You know, he'll do the best to pull this thing together and have a great time because that's what he is. I mean, yes, he's a great leader, but he also loves to have a good time. True. You know, and and he kind of, you know, his memory of Fourth of July celebrations would be that of a child. So it kind of has that, you know, innocence and livelihood that I think would be great. Yep. And, you know, there's going to be a Fourth of July dance off. You just you know, with <laughs> True. Will there, you know, True. that's going to be a lot of fun. That would so be that fun. Would be great. So that All would be right. All right. My turn into the bucket. Next question. Where were we going next? What is this one? We are going to patriotic songs. Ooh. So the first question is, if the Marvel heroes formed a band to perform patriotic <laughs> songs, who would you want to be the lead singer, the drummer, and the lead guitarist? Or the second question is, which Marvel character would be most likely to butcher the lyrics of a patriotic song, but still get everyone to sing along because of their enthusiasm? All right. So. I am going to go with the first question here. Oh, okay. If the Marvel heroes formed a band to perform patriotic songs, who would you want to be the lead singer, the drummer, and the lead guitarist? So, okay. For All right. lead singer, I am going with Scott Lang, Ant Man. <laughs> I just feel he had all that time when he was on, you know, uh, house arrest, you know, he was there just singing away, you know, he perfected all this stuff and he was ready to go. I think that he would be perfect to step in and be the lead singer. Plus he'd have all the personality of man out there, you yeah. know, bring it to there. Fair. Some of that little That's bit true. of insecurity that always goes with the front man. Yet when it comes through, he's going to be up there and he's going to make it happen. All right. Drummer. It's gotta be Hulk. <laughs> <laughs> Your drummers are always them. a little bit nuts. <laughs> yeah, you may have to buy a new drum set every I don't know, every song. <laughs> yeah, but it's gonna be you know he's gonna bring it every single time. And for lead guitarist, it's Rocket. Rocket is gonna be the lead guitarist. <laughs> you know, he, like he'll get get out there. He'll put together some funky guitar that'll also shoot off like a a cannon at some point, <laughs> and you know, fireworks at the end or something. That's true. But you know, he is gonna rock it when it's all. Rocket is gonna rock, rock it, it when it's uh -huh. all said and done. See what you did? Uh, yeah, it's uh, that would be my band. So now off to you. Who's gonna butcher the patriotic okay. song lyrics, Michelle? Patriotic song because of their enthusiasm. Okay. Um. I think I'm going to go with Mantis. <laughs> I, I mean, I think I could just see her quirky enough that she would mess up on the, the lyrics. But, you know, her she is so enthusiastic and she's so she, lovable. Oh, yeah. Lovable, full of joy. I think people would be very hard pressed to resist singing along with her and, uh, you know, trying to give her that performance. That that's a really good one. I, like that one. I love Mantis. <laughs> so I think that would be, yeah, that's, uh, I, that may be the perfect choice. I like that one. All right. So it's All my right, turn. Your turn again. Yeah. We must be getting down to the bottom. Yeah. There's only a few more left, I think. Okay. Hope we're getting similar ones to what people want. What yeah. does it look like? Three, we three? Have a couple left here. Two left. Oh, all right. So this one is on veterans. All right. So which Marvel character stands out to you as the ultimate veteran soldier and what aspect of their story highlights of their story highlight their heroism highlights? Uh, and the second one is which Marvel character who experienced PTSD was most poignant to you and why? OK, so Michelle, which one are you going with there? I think I go with the harder one. I think we're going to go with two. OK. What you got? Um, I am What's actually the PTSD question of well, which one had the the most impactful PTSD. Yeah, which essential? character who experienced PTSD was most poignant to you and why? Mm -hmm. And I think I'm going to go with Bucky. Mm. Yeah, I mean, I think obviously <laughs> his experience 
from the war was ultimate tra tragedy, right? You, he was a prisoner of war and, um, you know, what they tried to gain from him was actually taking from him, taking from his core. And yet you could tell, even though he had struggles and at times it seemed impossible for him to overcome that, he did. I mean, and just like with anybody with any kind of PTSD, whether you're talking a veteran or any traumatic issues that you've had in your life, you have relapses, right? You have good, you have bad, you, you know, what might trigger it could be unexpected to yourself even. Um, and I, and I think that's kind of what I see in him. And I just feel it's very heart wrenching yeah. to see, um, somebody who, you know, what is good at their core be torn away from that and has to struggle to get back to that. Right. I mean, I think that's a really good choice. I mean, yeah, not only struggling with the PTSD from being in World War II, mm -hmm. but then also what he was made to do, you know, unconsciously right. um, for decades, essentially. Right. And, you know, having to live with that when it's all said. And right. Done. Yeah, mean, because he remembered it right. all. It's yeah. not like he was you know, um, brainwashed and thought he was somebody else or that other things mm -hmm. are happening. Yeah, it's a really good choice. Thank you. Okay, so yours is, which Marvel can character stands out to as the ultimate veteran soldier and what aspects of their story highlight their heroism? Well, this is the time when I can break out the other Captain America <laughs> and Sam Wilson. Um, because I feel, I mean, obviously, again, Steve Rogers fits every mm -hmm. one of these. But, mm -hmm. you know, Sam Wilson, you know, one, he 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 fought for his country originally, um, came back from that and ended up, you know, trying to help other veterans mm -hmm. who were struggling with PTSD right. and help them cope with that situation and meeting with them. And you know, I think that's just a wonderful one as a leader, but also as being somebody who's experienced that and knows what it's like and having to go through that. Right. You know, and then also putting that to use, uh, you know, becoming an Avenger and eventually taking, stepping into that role of Captain America, even though he wasn't so sure that he was the right, right person for that. Yet when it came down to it, uh, he was the one who took the shield, stepped forward and is now the new Captain America. I think that you, you throw all those things together and that is a veteran encompassing that the fact right. that, you know, he was able to fight through these adversities, help people and yet come through and, be there to represent his country when it was most important. Um, I feel like that is, yeah, uh, uh, that's what our veterans do. And so, and I feel like he fits that role. Perfectly. Right. No, I couldn't agree with you more. And, and also throwing in the fact, like you said, he didn't think at first he should be it. So it was almost like, even if he kind of felt like maybe he should, he thought what was best for the, whether you say the country, the the troops or whatever, at that time, he thought, all right, it, then this person is who is the face of this mm -hmm. and, and I'll respect that. Yeah. I mean, he wasn't sure he was worthy of the role, you mm -hmm. know, I mean, mm -hmm. it was tough to fill Steve Rogers shoes and, you know, we, I don't know if anybody ever truly can, but that's why he's kind of become a different Captain America. I'm right. not going to be Steve Rogers, Captain America. I can have no right. one can be that person. Right. Yeah. But I can still step into this and do what I can for my country, for the world, and be that person that right. it needed to be. And that's True. what he needed to come to the realization. For. Yeah. So, like very it. Good. All right. Two more left. Let's see what I'm pulling out here this time. So this one is, oh, this one's a tough one. This one is based on the subject of flag. So okay. which Marvel character's costume or emblem most prominently features the American flag and mm -hmm. how do they represent its values? The second question is, how do you think the symbolism of the American flag is portrayed through the actions and stories of a particular Marvel character? This is really tough. Um, I feel like this one's yeah. a really tough question to go through. I mean, I'm not sure which one I'm going to go with here, but I think I'm going to take the second one. Okay. Um, how do you think the symbolism of the American flag is portrayed through the actions and stories of a particular Marvel character? So um, I am going to go with, oh, this is really tough. Um, hmm. Hmm. I think I will go with, 
Black Widow on this one, mm. which is interesting being that she's technically Russian. Right, you know? right. But I feel that, you know, the way she has come through and fought and sacrificed so many times, you know, even when there's been difficulties and troubles and doing the wrong things, when it comes down to it, she wants to do what's right and make up what's good for and I feel like our country's done that many times. We've gone down the wrong path several times, but we always end up trying to do what's good mm -hmm. when it's all said and done. And so I think that I, I feel like I, 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 I mean, honestly, I'm, I could probably pick out some other characters that I've already used, but I kind of wanted to go somewhere different with this one. But I feel like her story is an interesting story, a story of redemption, a story of becoming a leader. And I feel like that's our country's um, history, you mm -hmm. know, of, of many times having to redeem ourselves and become a leader on the world stage. Right, and, right. And falling and yet coming back. when Yeah, we coming to. against against odds. Yes, um, very many times, and, you know, and, and, and becoming a leader and sacrificing, uh, you know, I mean, she paid the ultimate sacrifice, you know, to help the greater good. And sometimes what we've had as a country to sacrifice right. many things uh, to help with the greater good right. around the world. And I feel like that's where she kind of steps in particularly and kind of takes over that symbolism mm -hmm. of America and um, the American flag, right. even though, again, she's Russian. Right, right. Oh, good. I bet you wish you hadn't used Yes, Captain America. I didn't know we were going to get through all these questions. I might have saved them for the prize. I knew this <laughs> question I was coming. Them now. <laughs> so go ahead. Yes, Michelle. The mine is what? Which uh, character? Which Marvel character's costume oh, emblem yeah. <laughs> most prominently features the American flag, and how do they represent its values? I couldn't do this one because I only think of two characters that really symbol it, will have the American flag on their costume. So. <laughs> well, I am going to obviously say he's my Captain America at this point, because I do think obviously with the the colors, the theming is all made to be very Americana. Um, and so he definitely has it in his costume and his emblem, even on his shield. Um, you know, but again, and also what about how it embodies his heroism and I think is the other part. Yeah, I think that with what you've explained before about Captain America, I mean, he he wanted desperately to um, enlist and he fought through, you know, the challenges of trying to get there and didn't give up and didn't see himself as not worthy for it. Mm -hmm. And I thought. That's definitely, as well as the things you had said, encompasses a hero. It's funny, as I'm thinking about this, I wish I had gone a couple different ways. I mean, I like, I'm good with, I'm standing by my Black Widow. <laughs> oh, see, you're on the one. But I mean, I think that Iron Man, Tony Stark is a, is a good example. Mm -hmm. I also think Vision is kind of a good example of somebody who is really? uh, kind Interesting. of portrays the flag. Yeah. And I could, uh, maybe we'll talk about that at a different time. But yeah, um, I wondered a little bit too about Spider-Man, but maybe just yeah. very color. It's a really good choice. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I actually... Think I, <laughs> I, I honestly grabbed it something because I was like, okay, I don't want to just sit here and be thinking about it because I didn't really come up with an answer for this one. Uh, so I didn't want to be, just be thinking about it the whole time. So I kind of right. got a stab with Black Widow and I still will stand by that, but I think there's some other good choices out yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so the last group of questions here. We are finishing them off. Michelle, what you got? What's the topic? Uh, the topic is fireworks. Oh, well, I guess that's a good way to finish the finale. I like it. <laughs> this was not planned, by the way. Oh, no. Okay. If a Marvel character were to accidentally set off massive fireworks display, who do you think it would be and how do you think it happened? Mm -hmm. Or which Marvel hero would have the most spectacular powers to compete with a 4th of July fireworks show and how would they dazzle the crowd? Okay. So which one are you going with? Then? I'm going with the first one on this. Um, I think if... Gosh, there's a lot of people that I think could accidentally, um, show, you know, have fireworks go off. I trigger them. Yeah. Do the um, San Diego thing where they all go off. Out of the bar is supposed yeah. to do like 30 <laughs> minutes of fireworks and they all go off at the same once, time. Yeah. Yes. All you once. Knock them all out in two minutes. Yeah. Um, I think I'm going to go with Groot. Um, you know, he has that ability to have sparks come out and he probably wouldn't think about how that could <laughs> ignite the uh, fireworks so i could see him innocently 
making that catastrophe. That would have been my, my baby group would have been my choice. He's chasing some sort of rat lizard thing around. Oh uh, yeah. And accidentally yeah. You know, hits the plunger and starts <laughs> the things off. That would be my Yeah. I, I was also, you know, when I was thinking just now is Drax, but I don't know how he would do it, but I could see him making that mistake. All right. So you have the uh, way to finish off here with which Marvel hero would have the most spectacular powers to compete with a 4th of July fireworks show and how would they dazzle the crowd? Well, I am going to go with this. There's so many great choices here. Um, and part of me wants to go with Wanda. I think Scarlet mm -hmm. Witch would definitely have mm -hmm. some great stuff. Mm -hmm. Part of me wants to go with Loki. I love Loki. Yeah, Loki I think put that's on a great right. show. I'm going to go a little bit off board here and go with Wong. <laughs> I think Wong would just, you know, I mean, he just, he, you know, when you see him, especially when you first meet him in Doctor Strange, he seems so serious. But then as you get to know him, right. more, you know, he's just, that's true. He, he's kind of a, fun guy right I know that he would be able to pull out some of that magician stuff you know some of that sorcerer right. stuff yeah and pull out some sort of a, open up amazing portals where you can see fireworks from like around the world oh, yeah at the right. same time or something That'd plus cool. use his own magic to make some things happen right around that i think that it would be spectacular plus i think wong needed to be mentioned because i just love wong yeah. so much yeah i wanted to be sure he get, uh, got an addition to this but i yeah. think yeah, you could talk about Captain Marvel and some of her powers as well, what she could do. Um, I think all of those could put off a yeah. Oh, and, and um, Miss Marvel as well. Right. Let's oh, not forget her. She yeah. could do some fantastic That's things. That's true. And she'd yeah. be a lot of fun too. Yeah. I, I think that she needs to be mentioned as well. But, exactly. Um, I think that there's lots of, uh, Thor could call down the, you know, the <laughs> thunder and lightning and yeah. things happen as yeah. well. So Loki's you know, would probably be very self-centered, yeah. but definitely could bring out some fun there for yeah. sure so. so there you go all right there you go we would love to hear your answers to these questions and what questions did we not get yeah to here um we would love to hear your input please send it to us who knows maybe on fourth of july we'll post some of these questions on social yeah. media to see what kind of responses we get and True. Maybe, you know bring them up on an upcoming show or something but exactly that was a lot of fun that was tough some of these were tough yeah. I, I did look at the questions ahead of time but i just kind of perused through them mm -hmm. i didn't yeah take any notes so yes you might have been able to hear especially <laughs> talking about the flag one um maybe i went a little off there but um, i think they were a lot of fun i think michelle had as i'm always she does she had the best answers nah, um, we'd love to hear yours as well hit us up for sure social media hit us up on the a Gmail account. We'll share them on an upcoming show. Absolutely. Yeah. So that is our 4th of July celebration of Marvel, Patriots, and Veterans.